So I use Quick Share Screenshot almost every day. When I'm looking at student work, I want to share with them what I'm looking at. Am I looking at their whole body of work or just one little part of it? But regardless, things change. So when I take a screenshot of student work, we know what it looked like at the time that I made the comment. So if they've changed the font color, if they've updated parts of the document or their work, or they've completed it later, I can see what it looked like at the time that I was looking at it. That my comment, because a lot of times, you know, when I'm writing text comments, I know what I'm looking at, but there are different parts that I could have been looking at. So it doesn't always match. So this way they know exactly what I'm seeing and what my comment matches up with. So here I'm going to be in a Google Doc and up in the Chrome extension, I have installed Quick Share Screenshot. So when I click on the Chrome extension, it gives me the option for a full screen or to take a partial screen. So I'm going to take a full screen, and you'll see that it now says uploading into Google Drive, and that the URL is copied to my clipboard. So this is what makes it so great, is all I have to do is click the Chrome extension. It copies the link to that screenshot right onto my clipboard. So then all I have to do is control V paste anywhere. So my school will use PowerSchool. I can leave feedback comments in PowerSchool, but it's just this text box. How do I get a screenshot? How do I link things into a text box? Well, I can control V paste. So this is a Google Classroom assignment. I have a student here. You can see down at the bottom under private comment, there is no option to attach anything. I can leave comments for feedback, but I have no place to put a comment. Control V paste, you can see that this gives the screenshot URL, it pastes it right in there, the link to the screenshot. Now the screenshot is saved automatically to Google Drive, which means you own the screenshot. It's stored on your Google Drive and not on my server. I have no access to any of your screenshots, any of your files, or any of your user data. You have full control over your screenshot. It's in Google Drive, so you can do with it whatever you want. So even I can come back to this Google Doc, and if I use insert, and I insert image from Drive, here's under recent, this is my screenshot. So I'm able to even just insert it into Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, whatever you can insert from Drive, well, that's where your screenshot went. So there's a folder in Google Drive called Quick Share, and that's where all of them go. So, but it copies the link to my clipboard, so I don't have to do any extra effort. I don't have to drag it, I don't have to find it from the downloads folder. I can just paste the link anywhere that I can put text for student feedback. Now there is a quick share folder in your Google Drive. And by default, all files in Google Drive are private. So make sure you go find that quick share folder in Google Drive, right click on the folder, go to the sharing permissions and change it from private to anyone with the link can view so that when you paste the link to the screenshot, that the person who clicks on the link is able to view the screenshot. But when I look at student work, I want to make sure that I include a screenshot when I give feedback back. That way they know I looked at it and that my comments match what I have. So let's go back over here and I'm going to go back to the Chrome extension and you'll see that I have the option to take a partial screenshot. So I'm just going to take a partial screenshot. Oops, I didn't actually click on it. Take a partial screenshot. You'll see that I have crosshairs so that I can lasso the portion of the screen that I want a screenshot, so it's uploading it into Google Drive. It's copied the link to my clipboard. Just come over here. You started this assignment, but only have the first couple of words. And then here's my screenshot of that feedback so they can see what I am talking about and sent. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to Go and install the Quick Share Screenshot Chrome extension from the Chrome Web Store. And from installing that, you'll be able to have it up in your Chrome extension shelf. And you can take screenshots of anything in Chrome, which I think is very handy. I use it seriously every day.